Welcome back to Decked Out John Boats. Today we're going to take you on a tour of this 1436 that I just got finished decking out for a customer. This boat is very near and dear to my heart. When I started electric only bass fishing, this is what I started out in. 1436, I decked it out in three quarter marine plywood, two by fours, and that's really the reason Decked Out got started. I didn't want anybody else to make that mistake. So let's take you on a tour of this boat, show you what I did with it, see how things have changed. This boat is every bit as usable as the one I had, but a lot less weight. When the customer brought me this boat, it was just a plain empty 1436. It did have two benches in it, a built-in live well bench, and a small step on the front. It had a wooden transom. We ripped all that out, replaced it with aluminum. I'll never have to replace the transom in this boat again. We used all stainless steel hardware. We got him some pedestal seats so it'll be more comfortable while he's scrappy fishing. We of course decked the boat with aluminum and then came in and put hydro turf on top of that. Think it turned out pretty good? Let's take a look. Originally, this boat just had two, three benches in it. One from one from here to here, but as you can tell, we added quite a bit of back deck space in it. It did have a built-in live well already in the boat, and it did have a small bench from here to here. All this additional space was built in by me. My buddy Mac helped me weld up the frame. I'll drop some pictures so you can see what that looked like. This boat's now a crappy fishing machine. The customer's on his way to pick it up. We got all of his hardware replaced with stainless steel screws, uh, nylon nuts and washers. Should never have a problem with rust or the boat leaking. We did get these great Millennium seats in the boat. The customer asked me what I suggested. These seats are super lightweight and comfortable. In a 1436, you wanna keep the center of gravity low so you don't lose any stability. Customer asked for a camouflage hydro turf. So we hooked him up with this cut groove swamp camo color. We got the olive millennium seats to match. We got the anchor pedestals and bases. We got a 12 by 20 hatch here in the back. That way you can get your batteries down in the back to run the trolling motor that you go mount on the transom. I did replace the wooden transom with all aluminum. Got that painted up with tough coat. This boat should never need the transom replaced again. I did go with these locking twist style latches 
keep all of his gear secure. We got the 112 by 20, two 12 by 12s on the at the front of the back deck. I did build quite a large front deck in this boat. This is about the max that I would do with a 1436. Uh, don't go above your benches. As you can see, these hatches do have the dry track around it. Gonna be a little more user friendly now, huh? What I put in there is, is solid. <laughs> be out there styling now. And there she goes, off to her new home. 